So the word geometry literally means earth measure. And it is such a fitting name because in geometry, everything on earth can be measured using geometry. The guy who coined the term geometry, whose, his name was Euclid. And that's why we name uh, geometry Euclidean geometry because of the works of Euclid. That is how we formed the modern geometry we study today. Now geometry starts off very simple. It starts off with just one thing. It starts off with this. This is known as a point. Now we could have called this thing a YouTuber. But we don't call this thing a YouTuber because like a normal dictionary, we don't say, hey, look at that YouTuber over there. Because, like, how many views, subscribers, and videos has this quote unquote YouTuber made? Ha, see? None. So that's why you don't call this thing a YouTuber. It's, it's inaccurate. We would say, hey, look at that point over there, or dot. Now, the reason that mathematicians don't use the word dot is because they like to be quote unquote sophisticated. Because words like dot. They're they're for plebs. They're from the plebs. As a member of the patricians, mathematicians don't like to use words like dots. They like to use fancy words like postulates and points. Okay, so enough of that. Okay, I, I, okay, I'm I'm normal. Okay, I'm back to my normal self. Okay, let me just remove all this stuff. Okay, so that's why we, that's why it's called a point. Um, I mean, it's just called a point because it. Mathematicians find the word point easier than the word dot for some reason. Okay, anyway. So this is known as the world. The world of zero D. Zero D. Now we call this thing the world of zero D because because in because the point is zero dimensional. You can't move on a point. If you move on a point, you're not in that point anymore, yo. So I hope you get that. Um Let's go to the next one. The next thing we have, the next logical progression is the line. So this is this is a line. This is simple enough line. Now, now this line cannot be confused. It's very very important. You should never ever confuse a line with this. Now, normally we just say, okay, these are both lines. Line, line and line. No. That's incorrect. That is not that that is a line. This is a line. But this is not a line. This is known as a line segment. The reason we call this thing the reason mathematicians call this a line segment and this a line segment. And mathematically a line goes forever in both directions. So here and here. Just follow the follow the pen over here. See this pen? Okay, go. Cool. So with the line segment However, it does not go infin infinitely. It just stops here. It starts here. It stops here, or vice versa. Uh, now, lines can have points, but these are not endpoints. You can go further in both. You can go in both directions, despite the point. Here, you can only move in one direction. You cannot move in both directions. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Now, um, another thing that we also I should also mention is that there's another thing known as as where you have one endpoint, actually I'll use a different color, get some variety here. You know, variety is always nice, eh? So you have one point over here, and you want to move you move forever in just one direction. This is known as a ray. A ray has one endpoint, but it moves on forever in one direction. So it's it's kind of a line a line segment having a quote unquote baby. Okay? Now the next thing uh, is where two rays share a common endpoint. So when two, let me just draw that actually. Let me, let me draw this. When two rays have a common endpoint, this is actually the common endpoint is actually known as a vertex, uh, plural vertices. Now the thing about this distance between the two rays, this is actually known as an angle. Now the word now the word angle itself has been tossed around a lot in normal diction. Like what is your angle on this topic, like climate change or fracking? For me, um, I say that my thoughts that climate change is real, is happening, it is something we need to address, and that fracking is fracking is wrong, it is fracking idiotic. 
I know. I, I I use profanity, but no, I did not use profanity. I know it, it's about it's Battlestar Galactica, yo. Okay, anyway, okay, enough of that. Um, so this is known as an angle, and an angle is really really important when we start when we come to classifying. But you might not understand right now because we have not gone to the world of two D. So let's do that now. Let me just designate the world of one D here. The world of one D. Don't ask me how why that line looked really bad. Okay, let me erase that. Let me erase that small that weird Judd I have over here. All right, Judd is the technical term. Okay, okay, it's it's not the technical term, but let me just that weird bump up there. Okay, here we go. This is known as the world of one D. Now the next logical progression is to have multiple lines. So have multiple lines. And let me just draw this out. Now these multiple lines form something very, very beautiful over here. That is known as a plane. And and, and sadly it does not fly, but it's amazing it's still. Now triangles. Let me make the end there. Circles and squares. They're all they're all planes. They're all planes. Planes are like when multiple lines intersect. So right here, these are where they intersect. Now most uh, planes you'll see, they, they all have line segments. They don't really just have infinity lines going. But those are what they are. They're planes. Simple enough. They're planes. Now a circle, it's a little different with circles. Um, I'll explain more in further videos because this, be, this will actually be a series on geometry I'm going to make. So I'll be explaining more of these stuff shortly. So this is known as a plane. Now, this is going to be the world of, let me get a different color here, this is the world of 2D, the world of 2D, the world of 2D. Now in the world of 2D, I have not gone too deep in the world of 2D, as I have so far with 0D and 1D, but this is meant as an overview, so you get an idea of what geometry is and what it might cover. Now the next next regression is to go 3D. Uh, it, it's time now. We need to go 3D because we've been stuck with 0D, 1D, and 2D. And 3D is where you get to that sort of the point of super duper cool. Now 2D is where you get multiple. Actually, I'm, I'll make a nice cube here. Um, is where you get we have multiple planes forming a three-dimensional figure. So like, let me try to draw this. Let me attempt to draw a cube here. So this, so this is a three-dimensional figure. This is known, this is known very popularly as a cube. It has six planes, one here, one here, one here. It's gonna be a little hard. It's one here, one here, and I'm trying to do this one, one here, the frontal part. Uh, let me see if I can use a different color. It's a little hard trying to illustrate here. Um, so this is, yeah. You, get kind of, you kind of get the idea. I know it's a bit confusing because it's a 3D thing and since I'm using a 2D software, I cannot exactly visualize something like that. But And you can also have things like spheres. Since I, you, cause since we didn't draw a sphere, I'm trying to give you the idea this is a sphere. You got pyramids, like the Great Pyramid of Giza. So these are all 3D figures. They're all multiple planes forming together to make newer version of shapes and this is known as the world the world of 3d of 3d now this is a lot a lot to digest in just if, in just 10 minutes and i'm going to make multiple more videos on this on geometry because this is just the beginning this is just the first dip in the water of the pool of geometry please stay tuned for more Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.